and what you do. Or, mm. Mm. This is a tough one. I love book friends. Um, it made me think twice about what has really brought me to this moment. And um, immediately I thought of the first time as a 21-year-old studying in Denmark and getting a book called Black Woman in Antiquity by Ivan Van Sertima. And for the first time I saw my Asian self, which I was never taught about. For the first time I heard words like Hatsaput and Tie and Makeda and quite a few of them and I thought, what? I'm a goddess? <laughs> so this book really um, brought to form my my godlike ex experience and my 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 presence my my idea and acknowledgement that i too have been a part of the world's history and not just his story but i have antiquity in my veins and and then i went of course to the unbelievable alex ailey the roots because in the diaspora world you know africans have been dispersed in very tragic ways and just understanding how how Africans left Africa and and going back to the roots of this story really helped me to understand the 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 the, the disconnect of Africans on the continent and Africans globally and later on in life of course having had to go back to my roots in Ghana I had to look back on the life and times of the great Kwame Nkrumah and just going through the idea of, of, of Africa United and what are the fundamentals of that and what was my duty towards that. And as I got much, much older in the knowledge and the understanding, when we began to create Africology as a study, I thought of Roots of Our Time. And this was written by a sister called Margot Jefferson Wood gone as a young woman and gone across the Western African to understand really what is this thing that is called the African roots. And she breaks it down in many parts. And, um, you know, she just talks about birth and childhood, African birth and childhood. She talks about African societies and, and breaks it down in terms of what African societies are about. So Roots of My Time, A Portrait of African Life and Culture continues to be one of the, 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 the books that I keep going back to. And of course, George James and Stolen Legacy is about returning and reaffirming what we know we gave the world in terms of our knowledge epistemology, in terms of our craft, in terms of our, our, our spirituality, in terms of who we are in terms of our, our, our systems of government, of leading, of governance. And Stolen Legacy just explains that a lot of things were stolen from us, that we have now been living as if it's somebody else's. So this is one of the books that really reaffirms that we are only repeating things that we have, we taught the world. So there's no, nothing wrong with learning about mythology, which was, which is considered Greek because it is really Egyptian philosophy that was being told in a story form. Mm -hmm. So these are the real books that, um, informed, uh, is informing my life. And there are hundreds more that I feel like snippets of different things have informed the way I read, informed the way I speak to people, informed the way how I, I understand the world. Um, the African world as it is today. Yeah, book flints. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay.